Well, hey there, people. Welcome to another episode of I Don't Know What I'm Doing. I think I do a little cooking with the cooker in this video. I'm not sure, but anyway, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. What were you thinking? Oh no, what are we doing? Anyway, I got these chairs for free. The reason, <coughs> we went to, so anyway, we went to a yard sale. Uh oh, Cash, come check out the new chairs, buddy. Hey, Cash wants to check that out. Oh yeah, where are you? Go check out the new chairs. Go check them out. Go, look, Cash, go check out the chairs. Up. Well, anyway, we went to we went to a yard sale. Uh, what do you got? Cash might want one. Eh? He wants to kiss you. <laughs> yeah, I want one. Yeah. Wow, those are nice. Yeah. And I got lots. Yeah. I swear we're going back in time. Well, there's our free chairs. They're right in our living room. Um, we replaced a beautiful leather sofa for these ugly chairs. But yeah, and uh, now we're gonna have to decorate the back wall somehow. Something funky. Oh my! And we, we got, our Shelly got these for fifty cents. There's some kind of special wood that I don't know about. I don't know. Well, here's our Blue Mountain Pottery score from that yard sale. We made off like bandits. Hey, Shelly? Yep. So, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm taking all of them off, dusting, and rearranging. Really? Yeah. Well, I just look at all the dust. I have to. Good luck with that. Yeah. It's all good. And I made the uh, front page of the Thorsby Target. So I'll show you a picture. So out of all the pieces, this one's the most collectible. Believe it or not, you can't find these. I don't even want to try to start it. It's probably never been used. Well anyway, here we are at the uh, Blue Mountain Pottery uh, display units. Give you guys a bit of a tour of how much we have over a hundred pieces. It's not just Shelly, it's me too. We've been getting a lot of gifts, a lot of freebies, a lot of good yard sales. But yeah, I'd say we're pretty addicted to uh, Blue Mountain Pottery. Just a little bit. not over yet. Yeah, I still have to dust these off, but yeah, over a hundred pieces. Craziness. It's just sheer craziness. Stop it. I forgot to show you guys my favorite piece, and that's this piece. Not the scrappy. Look how awesome that is. It's just as big as scrappy, eh? Well, it's not done yet. I found a few more. I, they're all over the house. These bookends are pretty kick butt too. And we got this thing. I don't know what that is. But. Well, I'm sure there's more downstairs or something. Just uh, Blue Mountain pottery everywhere, eh? I don't know how I forgot about this one. This is the biggest piece of our collection. Uh, my buddy Lisa Lepage. She sent it to me from Sudbury, Ontario. It made it here safely. Look at the size of that one. It's a beauty. All right. My kitten. Yeah, I have both Ontario and Alberta plates on her. Confuse the cops if I ever get pulled over, but. Where I go riding, 
There's no worries. Original factory Honda sticker. See it? All right, let's go. Well, I'm out here at Strawberry Creek, and somebody's not happy that I'm here. I felt it coming for some reason, but I just got splashed by a beaver. He's hiding. 20 minutes from my house. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, man. The Wheelie King. Here we go. This is going to be super hilarious, guys. Hold on to your shorts. too hard today. I wiped out. Uh, yeah. I broke my baby. And my ribs. I told you guys there's something in my backyard. I wasn't lying. I wasn't on mushrooms. Not that much. <laughs> That's so scary. Let's see what Graham thinks. You want to just walk out in the street? I don't know, should I? Sure. Put a little humor in this bullshit. There's a big scrap on my street right now. You're too tall, duck! You're hitting the clothesline. <laughs> yeah, somebody stole my batteries today. Like, this afternoon they were there at 12. So there's a big fight in the street because lots of things. I've been gone missing. They're trying to be serious, they for real. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> Well anyway, I'm in my neighbor's yard. Um, they're gone camping for the weekend, so I decided to start staining on their side while they're gone. Did a little section up there too. Just listening to some tunes. My roommate gave me this, man, check that out. Thank you, kicks wet. Give you a tour of Shelly's flowers. Her cute little front yard. Well anyway, um, my neighbors are gone camping, so I decided to start staining. I'm going to do their side while they're gone. Did this little section. Um, and I stopped there because the sun's over there, so... Holy jeez, that's a big fence. Crazy enough. Hey, there's a cowboy in there. But yeah, I'm just going to give her 
uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so I'll do as much as I could till it gets dark tonight and finish off the rest tomorrow. Well, I'm getting there slowly but surely. Um, I got distracted. Kiefer, neighbor Kiefer called me over for a brisky, so I'm back. I was a little worried about doing behind her little garden here. Like, I did it, obviously. The fence was a mess, so I had to fix it up nicer. <laughs> Since I destroyed it, I put it back together nicer. Well, I got Mike's target all set up, I think. Look how nice that flower thing is that I made. I didn't made. I rearranged. We're getting there. I really wanted to do it all tonight, but it's getting dark. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going until I run out of stain on this side. All done. And it's starting to rain, just in time. It's a bunny. Hey, little bunny. Hey. It's a little bunny, bunny. Cool. Yeah, it's pouring. Just I just, just finished, like two seconds ago. I still have to do that and lots in my own yard. But yeah, that went pretty fast. Looks all right, eh? The mighty fence. That's a big fence. Whose idea was that? Anyway, I'm done the uh, neighbor's side. Um, it just started raining as I was done my last panel or what you want to call it. But yeah, carry on on my side, I guess, once it stopped raining. But for now, beer break. Yeah, I'm going to give it another coat next year. We'll let that soak this year. So next summer I'll give her another coat. She's protected at least, right? <laughs> He's right to the source. A while ago he was like waiting for them to go, but very far away. <laughs> Get the bubbles. Get them, Zeus. Go get the bubbles. Go get the bubbles, Cash. <laughs> ah, JJ doesn't care. Hey, JJ. Zeus loves them. <laughs> Wonder if all that soap's gonna make him poop. He <laughs> poops already. I know. Trust me. I know. Well, it's time to make some food. So I guess it looks like some pierogies from Ranchland Meats and bacon. Shelly did some gardening today, some picking. Alrighty, we got green beans. Mm. Alright, let's uh, get into this. So I don't know if anybody out there has one of these Gotham pans. Um, I'm not impressed. It does the trick, but it's, you're supposed to not have to use butter and stuff, but you do. And I don't know what happened to the coating. The invincible coating. Not so invincible. Alright, we're going to use this pan as a pierogi. That pan as a bacon. This is actually garlic powder. Just a little bit. A little bit. Oh, a little bit more. Yeah. That's it.
So this is a little shout out to my mother-in-law. There you go, Linda. Well, there's lots of room in this one, and there's a little easier, right? That's just a half pound of bacon. I don't like the way this thing cooks bacon for some reason. The Gotham pan. Not a big fan of that. And they're expensive. Like I've seen them at the giant tagger for well, like a 30 bucks. Too much. You cook it afraid. Crispy, by the way. You want it crispy, burnt? Hey, Joey. Like crispy. crispy, burnt. Fast fry. I wasn't meaning to do that, but it'll work. Let's check up on the pierogies. Did I burn them too? A little bit. Turn her down. Not a race. Yeah, I'm quitting on the uh, the Gotham. I'm going to switch them. I'll put the bacon in the butter pan. It's nice and crispy. cooking for real. Let's have a peek. So yeah, I'd say the pierogies are pretty much done. So I grated some uh, old cheddar. Uh, the trick is if you're using one of these, the best trick is you freeze your cheese because it doesn't fall apart in big lumps. It's the trick of the day. All right, let's uh, plate this stuff. Tell me that doesn't look good. Oh. Well, that was Shelly's plate, all nice and proper. This is mine. Anyway, we're here at uh, the Leduc Library, at this beautiful spot. Uh, what better spot than to be signing some paperwork for possibly the sale of our house? Possibly, look at all the circles and the initials. And Lots the of circles. My goodness. I'm not going to show you guys that, but yeah. Yeah. Great day. Great day Very for good. signing paperwork at this beautiful little spot. <laughs> I wonder if there's fish in there. Time to go scan this. Okay. I shall be back. You got to love wild mushrooms. <laughs> 